Lay about us. Come on. Come on. Let's come lay down. No, baby. I know. Trust me. This is a weird place with a lot of shit. Feeling better? Okay. Oh shit. There. Yeah. It's Western on top. <laughs> yeah. The gentleman. Where does a gentleman's haircut? What era is it actually from? No, it's the fifties. That's what I think. Yeah, and they have all the like the haircuts went in a strange. Yeah, like when we were growing up, all the haircuts it was all like, bowl cut. Well, <laughs> speak for yourself. Uh, no, I mean just like the way it was marketed though. I feel like it was all glammed out. Yes. You know, everything was all like. And then everyone brought it neon back. and shit everywhere. Every time we went to a salon, it was all neon. This isn't just a barber shop. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Might be a short one today, folks. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of planning. We've been working on the Indiegogo for the tour this morning a lot. And um, we some, add some we're going to add pins. We're like really sleeping on pins. We have something pins. great to add that, and we need to do a tour pin. That's good. What we need to do, what you need to do, I say we do it tomorrow, dude. This is cool. Who, who did this run NMD thing with the fucking nice kicks? That's what was saying in that thing. You should watch the vlog sometime. This was in the last vlog? Um... It would have been in that same vlog, I do believe, where you came in here and asked me about, uh, asked me about you. The, the one where thing. I was bugging out all day, driving around with I don't remember if it was that one or the one before. I'm pretty sure it's the one where you asked me. I'm pretty sure that was opened. In the, I'm glad you're just pointing it at that thing. I don't fucking know, because I'm so high now and I'm so confused how me, I didn't it's see the it. Same, it's, I believe it's from the same blog where I said I'm not doing any shoes today. I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure. It is, and I did watch that vlog. And then you came in and no. you asked me why I didn't do any shoes. I, so here's my thing, anyway. I'm just saying. You should just watch the vlog. The people in, <laughs> and the people in the comments. They want a white knight for Ern. Ern wanted to fight me over anything I said. He would fight me. He's not a pussy. He got, he's got this. You don't need to white knight. And you wouldn't fight me either. So stop leaving comments saying that you would slap me because you would not slap me. No one see. on the planet of Earth other than my mother and a couple of chicks have slapped me. So unless you're a hot chick, you're not slapping, all right? Let's just cut the fucking keyboard commanding. I definitely didn't read the comments on that vlog, I guess. Uh, like, stop acting like you'd slap me because I talk the way I talk. It's so stupid. No, you wouldn't. Like, I talk this way everywhere I go and no one has come slap me yet because it's not that serious. Act like you're like, in Guantan Guan Guantanamo Bay over here. You know what I'm saying? B-A-E. That's when you're in a bad relationship. You gotta, you're in Guantanamo Bay. All right, homie. We out. Still Healed low. up from the pistol whipping. So all these people have like socially moved back over to Nike, right? Like yeah. I wake up every morning, someone's got some tweet, like Boost is dead, trying yeah. to fucking, I don't know, rationalize their purchases to me. Yeah. But the people that say that say that because resell or whatever dies down. There's not as much hype around one product, whatever, and then other products come out, you know? So the month of May, and maybe even the first half of the year, has been like a lot of Nike shit, whether you like it or not. Like it's just a lot of stuff. And so the hype has moved over to Nike for this period. And during that period, people are finding out the same thing. It's like this tumultuous fucking uh, acceptance of that resale has nothing to do with shoes. And that we're like, the culture itself doesn't really give a fuck. Companies have now elevated everything to the point where they're just producing enough shit. Back in the day, shoe companies didn't care about lifestyle at all. It was all performance. Nike yeah. was all performance. Adidas is all performance. You took a performance shoe and adapted it to your lifestyle. That shit changed. Nike now and Adidas and all these companies understand lifestyle and they understand, like that's a huge, huge market. The market that was like Nike SB is I think one of the biggest departments of Nike now, which started off as maybe fucking 10 people. So it's like, it's just shifted. The companies have leveled out where people are getting most yeah. of the stuff that they want to get. So people are now saying, Weeks argument on dead. Twitter. What? 
What? Well, this week's argument on Twitter is that people are still boost is deading, but like you're still getting these tweets from resellers who are like, Will y'all stop crashing the market on StockX? Why are y'all in the game? Why the fuck? Like, y'all gotta get out of this shit. You know, you're not understanding. Like, you don't so even. companies are producing more. And you don't even have the bankroll for this shit. You're a middleman, motherfucker. You don't have the bankroll to buy a full size run from everybody. You can't control the market because you yeah. can't even buy the fucking company. You don't have enough capital to control shit. They'll sit there and they'll call fucking people broke. Boys, they'll be like, Oh, these sellers are broke boys, and these buyers are broke boys. No one wants to pay 600 for my fucking, yeah, because the fucking like resale price is a made up number, it's made up and it's based off what people will pay. And people are only paying that shit because it wasn't available, and now, yeah. now everything is available. It's yeah. fucking economics, motherfucking, like not even 101. It's the pamphlet before you even get in the class, dumb motherfuckers. It's insane. And every day on Twitter, it's just like, stop killing the fucking market, bro. Like, stop fucking operating in fucking false markets. It's not a real market. It's volatile. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you don't control shit because Adidas at the drop of a hat. Adidas at the drop of a hat tomorrow can change the market. If they drop turtle doves tomorrow, the fucking dudes who are sitting on turtle doves always just like waiting and waiting. waiting. Like, yeah. it don't matter, bro. Like, your shit is not real. It's not a reality. Yeah. Reality for right now, but this shit can change real quick. I'm fucking sentence. There ain't no period at the end of that sentence. People don't get it. I'm on one today. To the Apple store. Yeah, let's go to the Apple store. Mall vlog. Yeah, mall. You should get a mall vlog intro where mall things like shake vlog. around. Mall vlog. Um, I'm trying to get you out. I will. You should go to jail today. No, please don't wish that on me. Jail or hospital? Which one do you want today? Uh, Here's the thing about those crystals. It's never a good way to start a conversation. <laughs> Can you tie just title it Mall Vlog? <laughs> mall Vlog. Well, it has to be Hype Beast Mall Vlog. Hype Beast Mall Vlog. Yeah, just totally. Should it be Hype Beast Mall Vlog 666? Will you get a devil costume so that. Yeah. We'll have to get you a. Uh, we'll have to get a thumbnail of you doing something that we can make look satanic but funny. Okay. <laughs> Choke out a kid at the mall. Oh street, my god, so. dude! I'll make a mockery of myself in the foot locker. I don't give a fuck. Well, I mean, yes, anywhere that you are in, I know that you are willing to make a mockery of yourself. <laughs> this I know, but I do love you. Ready for a little sneaker? Even though you're secretly waiting to fist fight me, apparently, according to the. I gotta read this vlog. I, I, you I gotta, gotta read the vlog. I gotta, Maybe if they have some Nike, uh, whatever the shits are called, with the phone. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Like, why do you have the raincoat, Ted? Well, it was raining 10 minutes ago when I walked out of the house. Yeah, now it's the nicest day we've had yeah, yet this Yeah, now it's like a fucking Norman Rockwell And then it's supposed thing. to be a thunderstorm later again. To the mall, I'm pumped. To the window, to the wall. We shopping at this mall. Excuse me, what do you have on feet? Well, so I, these here pair of New Balances I just got. Yeah. So the people, I mean, you don't think the executives see all that shit? You don't think people see yeah. Twitter and... I mean, dog, I got stopped for making shirts to say Boost God on it for getting too big too quick. Yeah. So you don't think that they don't see some dude with a stack of fucking Yeezys and are looking into it? Yeah. It's probably true. Yeah, come on. Or at least looking into how to switch up. I mean, people who even work at Adidas complain about not being able to buy shit. It, and in Portland, don't they still don't get shit. They still get payment errors when they check out. There's a reason that things are fucking evolving past. Like, yeah. consumers aren't going to stay frustrated. That's not. That's definitely not what's going to happen. Good learning club today. Yeah, this is going to bring a bunch of comments. People being like, Teddy's just trying to drop knowledge all the time. Teddy thinks he's smart. Uh, I don't like Teddy. I'm just gonna keep watching this anyway, though, because I do like Teddy. Just like to find things I don't like. All right. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna find some stuff to resell. Yeah. We control the market. Here we go. We're gonna find some NMDs on sale for $99. We're gonna turn around. We're gonna flip them for $600. I'm find some host pimp. You said that as soon as you saw this girl walk by in a skirt. Should I expose you? You want another no, slime? No. No. Okay. No. Because Burgos tags Brandy immediately. Of course so he does, because he's a bitch. All right. Dope. You saw that people were like undoing them? Really? Yeah. Now in the elevator. How's it going? I like your shoes. Sorry? I like your shoes, I was saying. Thank you. Yeah, man. I'm Ernie. This is my first wall vlog, so you're the first guy in it. Oh, yeah. Really? Yup. Oh, shit. There's people. We're out of here. <laughs> All right. I get nervous. I did. I saw it in yeah. Chicago last week, and I was like, I'm not going to buy it because I don't really need it. But then I got home from working on two computers, and I'm like, I actually do need the other mouse. Right. And if yeah. one's black and one's white, I want to it's all how you rationalize your uh, addiction. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I was looking at that. Like this Dude, you know what's... Yeah, that thing's so really small. dope. I wonder what it looks like. 
It's it looks great, dude. It's the Mavic. Better. Oh. And that's the mask. But dude, also you got to think if it's too, too small, it's a little windy. It's like yeah, how stable so can just put it to finish line? I'm allowed. I'm allowed to film anywhere within a hundred feet of a Adidas. So, oh, yeah, dog. What is this stuff? Like cloud foamish? Oh yeah, this is it, dude. This upper is pretty nice, actually. Or like at least. I feel, like, I feel like if I try and shoes, I'm gonna have to pop something. No, you don't. I'm having to disagree what? with that. Really? Yeah. I think they. Oh. Uh, wow. Look at these. He's got no love on the internet. They're great. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's lit. They, like, just fucking like, didn't say anything. Like, yeah, we're gonna use. Yeah. We're gonna use this little D rep shit on here, too. The oh. Unreleased. Never, this is a sample pair. Never before seen, we found this. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no, you gotta get your thumbnail. You good. gotta black. <laughs> there you go. This is kind of cool. It's kind of a cool color. Uh, these are good. There they go. <laughs> I don't see it, but you know that's stupid. Yeah. You know. <laughs> It was a, sorry. You know, I gotta tell you, dude, mm -hmm. all kidding aside, when you run like that, you can feel like a cushion right on this part. Like, it actually does feel soft. So we're copping? I don't think I want to cop. <laughs> dude, and what's weird is like, look, your toes are up. You're kind of like on a rock like a elf? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, look, yeah. You can put a whole thing under there. Yeah. You can't for me to get on my toes. Oh, you almost fall forward. They make you run. Dude, I'm telling you, it's like there's a rocker. So they're rocking the chair shoes. They're rocking chair All shoes. All right, next shoe. I'd be interested to run like a long distance in them and see. All right, give me the car keys. <laughs> I'll see you at home. No. This oh. knit looks nicer already. These feel like Y3 knit. <laughs> hey, this is way more comfortable up top. We got a contender now. The toe's still up. No, I don't. Yeah. Dude, but look at. Look. It's just silly. You don't like the colorway? I don't know. I mean, I like the color. I like that colorway. I do I like, like watermelon. The... No sprint. You're not gonna sprint to that crowd of people, huh? Other side. <laughs> These actually feel good, dude. These feel good too. They're just like weird. Feel cushy. Maybe I need to try on some boots. All right, right. I'll see. Oh yeah, I haven't yeah. even seen that. Yeah. They release so many pairs now, it's like yeah. hard to even keep up. I, I like. <laughs> what do I want? I don't know. Or maybe can I? I probably can't run in those NMDs though. I want to get someone to run it. I need a new running shoe. Well, if you're gonna get a new running shoe, you should order the AM4s because yeah, these are the same thing. It's just a different upper, huh? Crazy. Wow. That looks even more uncomfortable. Honestly. Yeah, that's like not very. It's so flexy. weird. You should try it. Like, it's uh, just I'm just saying. I'm not the, trying. Yeah, the band aids. <laughs> that's what people got turned off by these. Someone people kept calling these band aids. <laughs> oh, they got the white climbers. Oh, seriously? No. <laughs> no. Didn't even make it, made that all up. Bro. <laughs> Who planted that here? It was a prank show. You got these in twelve? Yeah, I think. Let me see if I got it. <laughs> How did you end up buying something? Fucking no, because I feel like I because the real test is that you came here to try Nikes and you're buying a boucher. Brandy, you know what? What size is Brandy? Seven. It is seven, right? In, in men's. women's, it's a no. It's a six and a half, seven in men. These didn't come out for men. These came out. Oh my only. God, Brandy's wanted these. No, I'm these gonna get these for Brandy. Thirteen's instead. the only size he has. Thirteen. I'm good then. You know what? I'm gonna get these. And now these are women. Do you want me to text her? If she's a six and a half in a men, she is probably an eight in a women's. Eight. Seven and a half or an eight. How many pairs of shoes have you bought her? A few, but I... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I said you might have to pay because I don't have my card on me. It's a... I'm buying a pair of shoes all of a sudden. <laughs> I'll really nice trip in the show. elevator. Let's see who we're going to meet. Now, we can get now let's see who, yeah, who will we meet today? Have a, a vlog. Okay. Of our lives. So our lives together. Yeah. We're just friends, not together like that. We're just buddies, but. <laughs> Alright, so you bought the wifey some shoes. Yeah. Wifey? Yeah. Wifey just came up. Yeah. White Climacool is just sitting. 
The hottest shoes in that store. Coolest. Probably the only person that's ever been in a mall vlog that's actually bought a shoe. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen one run around the store. Yeah. Well. Dead. Sweet. Want to reply? <laughs> All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet. Hey. Barking hat. What are you barking at? Oh. You feeling better? Yes. The yes. Yeah, I think he's feeling better. Ooh. Today's fucked up. Last week was fucked up. Weekend was kind of fucked up. Shit's just fucked up. Like shit is just everywhere right now. So last week was derailed for the last part of the week because of Omar. Omar is finally recovering. Kind of got back to normal yesterday. And then today he seems to be, for the most part, normal. But his medication makes him tired and groggy, so he's not quite as crazy. But he is worked out. That is fixed and worked out. Um, as far as Patreon Kickstarter tour shit goes, I'm super frustrated just in general. Um, I haven't even really talked to a lot of the sponsors because we just haven't talked yet. Like I've sent everything out and there's been some communication, but shit like this moves so slow and shit like this isn't what I really enjoy. But then on the other side while having, cause I need that fire burning and a crowdfunding fire just to see if this is a possibility. I have both of those fires burning at the same time, which are both frustrating me just trying to work out schematics. It's basically like untangling a bunch of fucking like Christmas lights. Literally one month from today, my lease is up. So I have to figure all this shit out, what I'm gonna do, what the plan is. Even if a full blown tour, like with a bus or the car and Omar and all these things, like if that doesn't work the way that I want it to work or how I picture it working, I'll change up and we'll make, you know, I'll. I'll compensate. I'll make it work with what I have. I don't really know, but I don't like being in these situations where I don't know what's happening. I have so many moving parts and I'm relying on other people to respect because I know how busy I am. So it's hard for me to get back. It's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of shit. I'm under a lot of pressure and last week didn't help. That's where we're at. So the only reason for that whole spiel is this week is really no different. Today, I, today, tomorrow, the next day, I have so much shit to just kind of figure out as far as like where I'm gonna live. I still don't have a house. I don't have, I don't know if I'm gonna put my stuff in storage or where I'm going or it's literally just chaos right now. I don't know if I'm going to vlog this week in a normal fashion. What I'm gonna do is take tomorrow, the next day, which is Wednesday and Thursday and not vlog and then be back Friday. Also one of those days, Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, I'll also upload a collection video. I'm gonna shoot a collection video tomorrow with the updated what I actually have collection and then drop that this week try to get all this stuff figured out this week and nailed down and just kind of figure out what direction I'm going in. Yeah, like pretty much just have that, that that's pretty much it. And then figure out what's going on. Cause I still have to manage everything else that I manage every day. I still have to draw, I still have to design. I have all these things that I have to do and it's really hard. It's not really a good planner. Like I'm just not. This is, not, this is why last year when I toured, I just did the shit by the seat of my pants and just flew from place to place and it was fun for me. This has just become like a headache. It's just so, so frustrating for me so um and not because of anybody's response like literally everyone i've pitched the idea to is into it it's just shit just moves so slow i unfortunately don't have the luxury of a lot of time it might be a light week on the vlog stance i'll try to get what i can done but just understand i have a lot of shit going a lot of shit not even mentioning the tattoos that i can't get to the emails i can't respond to um This last week or so has pretty much stressed me out. Um, and I continue to start new projects. I started, bought a bunch of these books and I'm gonna like hand draw on them and just put like 10 up at a time. I don't know how many pages are in here, but I'm just gonna doodle in them. This is my idea book. I'm gonna give them to you. Well, I'm gonna sell them. I'm not gonna give them away. Um, and I, I just keep giving myself shit to do. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. Let's talk about shoes. I don't have any coming in today, but no shoes came in today, but uh, we haven't gone through. So it's kind of a slow month. I went off about resale earlier and just shoes in general. I get really lately annoyed by people just like, I don't care what you purchase. 
I don't give a fuck what shoe company you like. I just like what I like. And I talk about what I like. I sound like a fucking broken record right now because I have to say this all the time. But, like, I really... If you ask, if someone asks me my opinion, what I think about something, I'll give it, but I don't care. Like, I don't really care what you buy. I don't care what you wear. I don't care what you eat. I don't care what you listen to. I'm just giving my opinion from time to time. But lately, there's been all of this goddamn talk about how Nike is a comeback, which my real argument and why we tried those shoes today or earned tried those shoes today is that there's nothing that's really, like, I'm not missing out on anything. And the same reasons that I was so in love with Boost and so in love with that part of Adidas is are the same reasons that I still am. I haven't changed because I don't care about fitting into the shit. Sick of explaining it to people. I'm sick and tired of people talking to me just kind of crazy about shit that has like, it, it's really not that serious. Like, you don't need to talk to me crazy because you decided to wear a fucking different pair of shoes. Like I really could not give a fuck less. Like you're wasting your time and your life. Like this is just a YouTube channel. Like enjoy the content or don't watch it and fuck off. It's insane to me every single morning I wake up, somebody is saying something justifying their own action. Anyway, the reason that there's such an influx of this right now is because Nike is dropping more shoes than fucking prom dresses this season. Like, there's a new Nike every two days. So I get it. It's flooded. And I get it. They're giving everybody what they want. Everybody's getting the shoes that they covet, that they've been releasing for the same 30 years, and now they're in new colorways with leather quality inspections. I get it. Enjoy your fucking shoes. It's totally fine. Just stop tweeting me about it and stop messaging me about it because I really, I really don't care. I, I really don't care. Um, like, I could not care any less about what you're wearing. If I make a joke about a shoe that you like, just deal with the joke or make a funnier joke back but just like do something other than just say boost is dead this shit is annoying anyway I'm sick and tired of arguing for corporations that i really don't give a fuck about i don't i like some of the designers and their artwork that some of the people that work for adidas make that's where it ends i am not devoted to adidas as a company i don't think everything adidas does is great i don't think even a fucking huge percentage of the things adidas does is great both brands end up in marshalls on a daily basis who or what, what the fuck we're really even talking about. Anyway, speaking of shoes, and shoes that I have coming on the way, um, I have the Prototype Mid Ultra Boost, which has released in one store. People are kind of bugging out. This is supposedly the last mid to ever be made. They released in one store early, like on the 12th, but they should be in consortium stores on the 26th. That should be the release date. That's the last I heard. It's been kind of confusing lately. Two new Alexander Wangs. There's an Alexander Wang run is that the run the alexander wang run clean in black so i have the white pair the black pair has finally come out like a year later aw run reissue i think is what it's called which looks a lot like it looks very similar to this shoe but they kind of did some crazy shit with the upper and it looks really nuts and i'm just kind of interested to try it out it's almost like a trash polka shoe as weird as that sounds but that's all that i can think of that's actually on the way right now chinese edition pharrell human races that's not going to happen for me um generally 12 is the biggest in an asian release sometimes you'll see something bigger 12 and a half maybe but i haven't seen anything i haven't heard anything so that's not that's just not gonna happen i mean if 12 and a half show up i'll get all four but i just don't well i won't get all four because there's really no there's only 300 pairs of the gold one so let's just do the like logistic thinking here someone who's really close to pharrell who's also a size 13 has to become a basically a crackhead to for me to get that shoe so i don't know what kind of butterfly effect would have to happen for that to take place but I don't have a lot of faith in it actually transpiring and if you don't know the colorways for those Pharrells are to represent elements which are wood fire metal and water and then each English word has a corresponding Chinese character um, Adidas is releasing a shoe called the rascal which is really just the old continental people are gonna say it's a power fade I won't be copying but it is coming I think it's in July maybe June, July. Uh, BYW is dropping a carbon colorway. Different colorway for BYW. The white colorway is just sad. It's on sale at adidas.com right now, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this colorway is cool. There's a lot of BYW stuff. We're going to be getting a lot of BYW in the next year. BYW low is soon. No one's really seen it yet, but I know it's coming. It's been different. I like it. I'm not like going crazy over it, but I do like it. Speaking of BYW, there is the Pharrell BYW X, which has no...
which has no release date. The tongue says gratitude and empathy. Pretty much bet like after July, we'll start seeing a lot more summertime. We're gonna see a lot more BYW, BYWX. That's what I think. I don't know, I just think. As well as a whole bunch of new Yeezy colors, as well as some other Yeezy stuff. There's definitely more stuff coming and there's definitely more boosts coming and boost is far from dead. They just, hype just isn't being served on a silver platter. Hopefully we're entering a new era of sneaker whatever the fuck where people just think for themselves. I've been asked more about this shoe than any other shoe lately and that is the Solar Boost shoe that's coming. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this shoe. I don't think that I would really love it. So it has all these different things like it basically seems like a shoe that they threw all of their new tech into. Well not all of it but a lot of the tech from different shoes they threw into that. I don't really love all the extra pieces on it. It's a lot more like a ST. I feel like it's moving away from like the sock like collar. The knit is different. Knit is something called tailored fiber placement knit. I don't know what that means. I'm just assuming it's got more of the 3D mapping type vibe. There's elements from parlay in it. It has a stretch web outsole. It has a new energy rod. It's just like a completely rebuilt running shoe. So I don't know. I don't love those first colorways that I've seen. So I'm not really like too sure if I'm gonna check that out or not. I don't know. I really just like the sock collar stuff. That's why the Gosha shit was really surprising to me. And I don't know. Like some of this other stuff is cool, but it's never as comfortable. Like even 700s, it's not, it's not as, like I'll always come out and say, like it's not as comfortable. It's cool, but it's not as comfortable. But those come out May 17th. Then there's the Pod, P-O-D, S5, what the fuck's it called? P-O-D, S3.1. I have, it's just a P-O-D. I don't, did they ever even drop these? The Pods, the P-O-D, I don't even know what it's called. Pod, I'm gonna call it the Pod. But this looks very much like a Nike 270. These two shoes are so similar to me. The Nike's just a little more bulked up and techy, futuristic looking. Hey Omar, hi. You're dripping water into my shoe. <laughs> but I don't know anything about this shoe. It just sort of fell flat when they were talking about releasing it and then didn't really see it anywhere. I haven't seen much about it. This colorway doesn't interest me. For some of these new, for some of these newer silhouettes and models, I feel like I'm gonna need a collaboration where there's just a little more artistic representation in it. Because a lot of the base colorways of these shoes are just black and white shoes. A lot of collaborations are black and white shoes, but I think I'm hoping for just something to draw me in more than it just being, oh, this is a new silhouette. Uh, there's another White Mountaineering collab, which is a Terex, just like the Kith one. The Kith one has boost. Uh, this one I do not believe has boost, so I won't be getting it. It does have like a boa, boa lacing system, which is crazy, I think, but it's not for me. It's a hiking shoe, and I would normally just wear a hiking shoe lifestyle steez. So for me, mm, probably not. Speaking of not my tune, there is the... Uh, why can't I think of the name of it right now? Dragon Ball Z collab that's coming that's been talked about forever. There's a bunch of models in it. There's like, I don't know how many shoes, but a bunch. Uh, the one shoe that has boost, which is the Goku, which is the Goku ZX500, which is a nice looking shoe. But again, for me personally, the upper non sock like and just constructed of all these different materials was cool and it's very like artisanal and it looks very well made and the colors are beautiful. I really like the red with the gold. It looks great. Boost. Being in there is great, but I'm probably not gonna get it. Probably not. I probably won't wear it, to be honest. Like, I'm just starting to get to that point where I keep getting these shoes that I don't wear because of the uppers. I'm probably not gonna go after that shoe, but I do think the Goku one is the best from the collab, and that's just because it has boost. And I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan, so I've, I've watched some, but I, it, I, I missed it by a little while. There's a BBC Pharrell that's coming. I have no idea what the release date is on that. I like that shoe. It reminds me of Nautica so much, but um, I really like that shoe. I think it's cool. I really hope that we get Pharrells with pictures on them and not just words. I think there's a lot that could be done there. In fact, if there's a machine that does that, I would be really excited just to play with one because that would be sick. Yeah, I, I like that shoe a lot and shout out to my BBC family because in case it's friends and family. And the last thing I can think of that's a new size i5923. There's another one, another size exclusive. They did the Hawaiian Storm Aniki before i5923. i5923 makes me sound like I'm calling a robot and i5923, come here. I'm going to pass on this one because I have the Hawaiian Storm that's a little too small, barely fits okay so i'm not gonna get another one this colorway doesn't excite me as much but it is releasing i'm pretty like really soon i don't know the date for that one but it's really soon yeah but that's that's pretty much all that i can remember that's releasing that's all that i've heard of it's just a slower month for adidas which is 
totally fine too because I have a feeling that June and July and August are going to be stupid. All right, that's my day. I'm gonna get out of here. This week's a little crazy, so I apologize in advance. I am going to assume there'll be a video up tomorrow and not one up on Wednesday and Thursday, but I don't know for sure. Just keep it locked in, keep it locked on. You know what I'm saying? Love you guys. All right. Peace. Oh, there was a drop Saturday, Sunday too. There's really like random shit left. Most of it's gone. Super random stuff, if you're interested. OSTeddy.com. All right, shameless plug. All right, peace.